What's up, future millionaires? How are you all doing? It's been some time since I spoke to each one of you all. Hope everyone is keeping safe and staying as healthy as a horse. Right? And you know, there's mainly now going on around stating that uh, Malaysia, the coronavirus graph, right? They're actually competing with the Bitcoin graph because it keeps increasing every single time. Right? So, yeah, but why I'm here today is to introduce to you all, right, the new public Isuko Fund, which was released by Public Mutual. Okay? So, there was actually an e learning to go through, and I'm actually going through it. So, I thought, why not just go through with you all? Because uh, the slide seems to be very informative. And I think I would like to give you all the full picture of what is actually this Isuko Fund, and how can you all make use of this particular fund to grow your investments. Okay, so let's start. Already, let's go. So, you can see uh, in July 7, 2020, BNM actually reduced the PR rate to a record low of 1.75%. Right? What does this mean to you? Is that your fixed deposit, the money that you're actually keeping in your fixed deposit, has tremendously lost its value, right? And how did it, yeah, so this is a very good explanation. At the end of 2019, that's 3%. You actually can get FDB for 3%. Currently now, it's only 1.8%. Even 1.8% is quite high, right? If you go and check currently now, it's like 1.2, 1.3%. Very minimal. And which is 40% lower than what you actually got in 2019, right? So uh, this is an alternative. The holders fixed deposit experience a reduction in their regular streams income, right? So you're not happy, definitely. Who will be happy unless you're telling me you're happy with the lower interest FD? Then fine, fine with me. But what I'm saying is there is a plan B. Here I am to introduce you to plan B, an alternative to FD, which is public ISOCO fund, right? It was uh, released in 9 December 2020, which is extremely uh, new. And there is something I want to know, but usually if there's a e means, is probably managed by an AI because it's cheaper. Okay, so you see the first Sukuk fund launched under the public E series fund. E series, there's a different series for funds, you know, like your BMW 3 series or series. So, this is the E series. So, this E series, you actually can have an initial investment as low as 100 million. So, to start, your capital is 100 million. The normal public without the E in front is 1000 million. So, this is 100 million, right? And because of public insurance online, now you can transact at any time, anywhere, and through any um, what's that equipment, IT equipment, right? So, what is the main objective of this is to provide annual income through investments primarily in Sukuk. So, the risk profile is low to moderate because you're comparing with fixed deposit. And uh, okay, let me wait, wait for it. Okay, the asset allocation is balanced will be balanced in the Islamic liquid assets because it's Sukuk, right? So Sukuk, 75% to 98, 98%. Up to 25% of NAV may be invested in foreign markets such as US, America, Australia. So it's also a foreign um, asset allocation is uh, allocated to the foreign uh, countries too, right? So Islamic liquid assets and Sukuk. And PEISC, uh, this, this uh, on my right hand side, right, this is a different um, fund, right? So they're comparing between these two and stating that this is putting more into Sukuk. So it's a higher, slightly higher risk, right? And much more returns, right? That's what they're hoping for. So Sukuk rated and unrated sovereign Sukuk and corporate Sukuk, Islamic, Islamic liquid assets. Okay, so this is nothing much. So the fund 31st January uh, is the year end. So every year, year end is from 1st February to 31st January and distribution policy means annual subject availability of income. So as long as there's income, every year they will uh, give you dividend, right? So the benchmark fund is accumulation index on the 12 month general investment account rate of total by Bank Negara Malaysia, right? So it is legit. And uh, total return historical of P Sukuk's benchmark funds, uh, the other Sukuk funds that they have in public journal all this while, this is the e Sukuk. So previously they actually had other super funds, right? And you look at look at the returns in public mutual. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing, guys. Okay, it's way higher than your right. If you're looking at one year, yes, but if you're looking at the three years, 
and five years and analyze returns about 3.3. So this is, that's why, that's why you see they're actually comparing with your FD, right? Because the returns are similar to the FD. And if you can get it at right this current moment, it's, it's so good. Okay, so let me go to the next uh, slide. Invest in Sharia compliant funds. So this is mostly for most of my Muslim friends, right? Muslim investors, where she want to invest is Sharia compliant. So you don't have to worry for it at all. Right, the offering price is about one ringgit and eighty per unit, but this offer period is only nine December twenty nine December. So currently, the price might have changed. So if you all want to know what is the current price, Google it up or come to me. I will give you the exact right price. Okay. So um, for every public every public mutual fund, any unit trust fund, right, there is a sales charge. So the sales charge is for any um, new cash. That means fresh cash going into the fund. Right, that's a 0.65 percent, which is extremely low if you're comparing with the conventional public mutual funds, which is about five percent. Right, uh, redemption charge is nothing much, annual management fees per annum every year they will charge you 0.85 percent, which is very low. Okay, and annual trustee fee. So, both this management fee and trustee, trustee fee management fee is for the fund managers, right, who are actually doing the job for you to actually look at the market. Um, do the reading, make sure that they're investing in the right markets, right foreign countries, right uh, companies. So this is what they're doing and to make sure Sharia compliant. And what trustee free is to make sure, make sure that it is a legit, there's a trustee watching out this whole particular unit trust fund to make sure that there's no, it is compliant with the Sharia law, right? So yeah, Sharia advises. Mm, so, so far, it, it seems very good. Hold on, let me just uh, go back. Yeah, so it seems quite good, very good to me, right? Um, let me show you another. Yeah, so the minimal initial investment is 100 ringgit. That's all you need to know. And every month, you can also put minimum 100 ringgit. So it shouldn't be an issue at all, right? Um, so... We go to next and see because some information I cannot really share to y'all uh, because it's an internal information which is regarding our our um, certain database and our fee and things like that you know as an agent so I can't really share that with y'all but anyhow I'm going to the next page uh, let's see what's going on taking quite some time right okay so here I am um, so what i'm going to currently show you is how is the malaysia sukuk market is working right now how is it doing right the malaysian sukuk market so the malaysia remains leading so malaysia one thing um, they are very good is they're the leaders in the sukuk market globally right although we're not the largest uh, muslim country but investment wise we are really good okay we have taken the whole sukuk so um stronger pace yeah this is so nothing much and yeah credit profile for rated corporate school in malaysia higher end of investment rate rating the TA rating you see so that's really good guys why invest in PE so cook okay this is a very good information look at this okay potentially better return so most of the time it's better return should be higher than three right flexibility so anytime you want to to take out your money, you need it for emergency purposes. You can liquidate it within two to three days, right? Diversification, because this particular funds they diverse into different entities, so you don't have to worry so much about one entity doing well or not doing well, all right? So the profit are tax exempt, yeah. So this is nothing much. This is more of like the uh, internal for how the suku um, things work. Flexibility can there can without any penalty premature up to enter entire profit income. You see, so fixed deposit if you take it out within a year, you will get you will be uh, um, the entire profit income accrued may be forfeited. But here you can you can redeem at any time. So as long as you have money in that fund, you will be eligible for the uh, dividend and also for the capital growth, right? So there is no time limit for you at all here. 
portfolio of Sukuk with sound credit fundamentals, you see. So domestic monetary policies, policies accommodative. Our GDP is projected to rebound in 2020, but hopefully, hopefully. But although if it does not, this is quite a, a less risk. It's not a very high risk uh, market. 14.2% mm, export, Malaysia import. Nothing much. Uh, Malaysia's overnight policy, yeah, to some degree, I showed you 1.75%. Nothing much. So, easy monetary policies, rising negative yielding debts, prospect week of US dollars. Okay. So, I mean, I wouldn't want to overload you all with too much of the information. But, uh, yeah, wait, let me see what's the next one. <laughs> yep, there's quite a lot of disturbance time to time in the house because uh, all of us are staying at home, right? So yeah, excuse the background music, guys. So this is philosophy of cook selection, sound credit fundamentals, like I told you AA rating, sound management type record, negative risk and reward, sound corporate governance. Key takeaway provides potential better return, flexibility, and diversity, right? Like I told you. And yeah, that's about it. That's about it. So uh, I'm sure you're clear because I'm quite clear. I just went through this, I'm quite clear. So let's see what's next. Okay, so this is like the, um, the prospector, right? They have regarding this uh, highlight sheet. So in this highlight sheet, it's a similar thing that I told you about. Everything is covered here. So this one, I will have personally, and if you're very interested, I can actually give you a copy of this. Of this. So it's technically what I just went through earlier. And I think this is the master prospectus. Yeah, master prospectus. This whole thing is exactly what you want to know about this whole East Group. Um, we only read this usually when we are uh, looking into the particular fund. And you want to know what is the annual return and things like that. So, but this this is like a whole policy stating everything to you, and this will be provided to you if you're interested to invest in this particular um, particular um, fund, right? So I confirm, understand, I understand. I'm not allowed to accept any payment. Yeah. Okay. So I think I think it is quite clear on how this is good fund is, and guys, this is Sharia compliant. So. Please look into it at this point of time for an alternative to your fixed deposit. Instead of you putting it in the bank and keeping a fixed deposit for nothing, this is a very, very, very good alternative. So I will see you all soon. Hopefully, we will soon. Right? And better stay safe. And call me, call me as soon as possible to start investing in this public e-sukumak fund. Right? See you all, guys. Ciao.